Hi, so if you watched the video Improved Magnesium Air Battery, what you will have seen is I took um, some of our graphene ink, soaked the Nordrum dishcloth into it, made it into a graphene flexible material, and I used that as an air cathode in a metal air battery, actually a magnesium air battery, and I made a couple of them here and demonstrated them. So if you want to know the details of how to make those, go to them and watch that video, as it's fairly in-depth how to make them. But essentially, it's a bit of this stuff, which is um, conduit, plastic conduit. I drilled some holes in, wrapped some of this material around a separator, and then wound it up with magnesium, and that's all I did. Now, it's um, stunningly easy to see what extensions you could go from there, because I just used ordinary salt water, one mole of sodium chloride, and spritzed that to get that going, and it works really quite well. Uh, Obviously, one of the first things you could do is change the metal. So here we've got a zinc air battery, and there's a bit of zinc on there, and it's held on with Kapton tape, and again, it's spritzed with sodium chloride. Salt solution, that gives me about 1.2 volts when it's uh, fully charged. It's down to about 1 volt now. Uh, here's another one, which is aluminium. So that's an aluminium air battery. Same way, I just wrapped a bit of aluminium around it. The aluminium I used is this stuff. We use this for car repairs. So I used a bit of aluminium. Uh, I think probably aluminium wire would be better, actually. Uh, then I made an iron air battery, and I used this stuff, which is just steel wool that I had happened to have hanging around, wrapped it around, tied it on with a bit of string, to be honest, and then soaked that in um, the salt water. So one of the differences you could make using that basic magnesium battery is to change the metal so that you get lots and lots of metal air batteries. Now there's no point asking which one was the best because there's no answer to that. The best is only the best that's appropriate to the conditions that you're in. So if you don't have access to lots and lots of materials, it shouldn't stop you because you could make an uh, air battery out of iron and there's tons of that around. It's, it's one of the most... Uh, populous metals there are. It's absolutely everywhere. Now, if I were to do this again, I probably just wouldn't use steel wool. I'd probably use wire, wind wire around, uh, wind iron wire around the thing to make an iron air battery. That'd be absolutely super. I didn't do it. I used steel wool. I'd love to see what steel wire did. Steel wire, although that only gives you about 0.5 of a volt, is absolutely everywhere and tremendously cheap. And if that's the condition that you're working in, it's best for that condition. Here, aluminium equally is, is readily available, easy to get hold of, and again, I would probably use aluminium wire. Zinc and zinc foils aren't that easy, uh, actually, surprisingly enough, to get, but zinc gives a good result. And now, in all of these, I've used salt as the electrolyte, and clearly that's not very good. What you would need to do as another variation is look at different electrolytes. What electrolytes would be good? In these, they're all the same. I was making a bunch of them, incidentally, because I was interested in making a bunch, and they're all made the same. All that cathode is that carbon cloth wrapped around the pipe with a bit of wire on it. That's what the air cathode is. Having done that, the metal anode can be changed, just whatever you happen to have lying around. Iron, aluminium, zinc, you can even try nickel, you can find some nickel wire and then change the electrolytes, work with different electrolytes. So I thought I'd show you a range of metal air batteries, all based on the graphene cathode made from our graphene ink, and I'll put a um, description, incidentally, in the, uh, sorry, a link in the description to the graphene ink, so you'll have to give this a go. But it's a ton of experimentation, and who knows, you may come up with something wonderful and new and be able to create a whole new battery, actually, really, really easily. So I thought I'd share some of those extensions with you based on the magnesium uh, battery to other metal air batteries and some of the ideas on how you can change that, experiment with that and look at other ways of making these metal air batteries. Anyway, I hope that was of interest and thank you very much for watching.